Hi, I'm Margaret Harris, Physics World's Careers Editor, and I'm here in Glasgow today because Glasgow is a hub for the UK's photonics and optics industry. There's a whole range of companies focusing in this area of physics and institutions at the, like the University of Strathclyde to sort of support them. Now the newest node in this network is actually the building just behind me. This is the Technology and Innovation Centre of the University of Strathclyde and it's home to around a dozen different organizations and groups including the Fraunhofer Center for Applied Photonics and also the, the University of Strathclyde's own Institute of Photonics. Now the Institute of Photonics is celebrating its 20th anniversary this year in 2015 and as you know if you've been following Physics World over the past few months 2015 is also the International Year of Light. Now there's not a whole lot of light around this being Glasgow and this being November so let's go inside and see if we can find something a bit more enlightening. Uh, my name is Martin Dawson. I'm the Director of Research at the Institute of Photonics, which I joined 20 years ago. There's a long history of uh, university spin-outs uh, that have created new businesses here in, in Scotland. And so there's very vibrant uh, commercial interfacing environment. The Technology and Innovation Centre here at the University of Strathclyde is a fantastic new creation for, for the university and for the city of Glasgow. There is, uh, has been £90 million of investment in creating this, this building and this is an ideal space for uh, industrial partners to come in to undertake joint projects or even locate part of their R&D uh, within the building. Simon Andrews, I'm the Executive Director of Fraunhofer UK Research Limited. Uh, we have now moved to our new premises here in the Technology and Innovation Centre at the University of Strathclyde. By being side by side uh, with the university, it means that we're more joined up uh, through the whole supply chain of uh, research and development through to industry. And innovation is, is inherently uh, risky, uh, complex, uh, time consuming. So it is necessary to help companies in a variety of ways. We've, we've seen corporate labs disappear over the years. The, the university sector uh, provides not just uh, research, but it provides the skilled workforce. Uh, Fraunhofer plays a part there too. We train a large cohort of, of graduates. So the government funding uh, allows there to, to be centres like that with the latest equipment uh, available to everyone on an equal basis uh, to provide training. So all of these things are expensive and uh, an individual project from industry wouldn't, wouldn't necessarily sustain that on its own.